Breaking news with Paul Tool. Hello and welcome. We have some breaking news. Crocodiles are learning to speak Chinese in Australia. One moment, please. I'm just receiving some breaking news. I have now learned that Zenmouse has recently released their full pass-through firmware for Arduinos. World leaders and celebrities are coming together to celebrate this amazing day. Finally, Arduino users can plug any mouse they wish into their Arduino and have it show up perfectly on their system. Following this amazing news, we will jump right into how to set up this groundbreaking software. First, let's hear a few words from Donald Trump. This is amazing news. Now Phoenix DMAM kit users can use their devices to their fullest potential. Zenmouse is number one at everything. These developers can never be fired. I love Zenmouse and Phoenix DMA. This is beautiful. And of course, that was President Donald Trump. Now, how about we go back to these crocodiles? Welcome to the Phoenix DMA YouTube channel. In this video, we will be covering how to use and verify your MKIT Arduino board. Included with your MKIT, you should have two USB 3.0 cables. USB 3.0 is required for using the MKIT. The attached computers must also have USB 3.0 uh, USB ports. Most customer forms of the M kit will come in an enclosure similar to this. For simplicity, we will use this in the video. On the front, you have three ports that are important. All the way to the right, we have the main USB port. This is similar to the micro USB port on your standard Arduino Leonardo. Next, we have the CH340 serial port. This is similar to a CH340 USB to TTL. The mouse port is where you will plug that beautiful mouse of yours into. On the back, you will have the reset button. This is similar to the reset button on a standard Arduino Leonardo. Now we will move into function checks. These same checks are done by Phoenix DMA before sending out to customers or distributors. If your MKIT passes these checks, you are good to move on to using it for whatever fun activities you purchased it for. Using the provided USB cables, plug into both the main and serial ports on the MKIT. Plug both cables into the same computer. Hello, mate. I'll take it from here for the Zen Mouse portion of the video. The rest of the video from here on will only apply to Zen Mouse Tier 2 users. This video assumes that you have already purchased ZenMouse Tier 2 and have downloaded the required app installer from the ZenMouse website. I am doing this setup on a fresh MKIT Arduino and I have no drivers installed on this system. If you already have ZenMouse Tier 1, then you can skip this part of the video. If you encounter issues with the ZenMouse Flash, it is recommended to come back to this part of the video and do this setup. First, we are going to open the device manager and verify that the main and serial connection. If you do not see both devices, then ensure you have the main and serial cable plugged into your computer. Next, open the serial driver installer application. Then click on install. Jolly good, mate. Next, we are going to install Arduino ID. This will install the drivers for your Arduino Leonardo. Open the installer and then click through the installation. Usually when you open Arduino IDE for the first time, the required drivers for the Leonardo will automatically install. If you have any messages that pop up, be sure to click yes or agree to them. Also ensure that you have Arduino AVR boards installed in your boards manager. At this point, you should now have Arduino Leonardo and CH340 in your device manager. Now we can move on to installing the ZenMouse app. You can find this installer on the ZenMouse dashboard. Run the install and click through it. Once installed, open the ZenMouse app. Once run, you can log into the app. 
before clicking anything. Make sure that both the serial and the main cable are plugged into the computer you are doing the Zen Mouse Flash from. Then click Start Flash under the Tier 2 option. Once the loader says waiting for Arduino bootloader, you will need to press the reset button on your Arduino. If successful, the loader will read Flash completed successfully. For this video, we are going to leave both cables still plugged into the same computer to demonstrate the, the mouse pass through. For normal usage, it is suggested to leave the serial in your second computer and plug the main cable into your main computer. To activate KBox commands, head over to the Vice Connection tab. If you want to use manual connection, ensure the COM port selected matches your CH340 serial COM port in Device Manager. For now, we will just use Automate. Next, we are going to open USB Tree Viewer to check if pass through is working properly. Um, the mouse we are using at the moment to test is a Logitech Superlight 2. As you can see, the mouse is showing up normally through my M kit Arduino with the pass through firmware. Now we can go back to the Zen mouse loader uh, and test cane box movements before attempting a movement test. Be sure to click the apply settings button. If all is well, your mouse cursor will move in random directions when you press the test button. We can also see in Logitech G-Hub that our mouse is showing normally. I am now going to demonstrate with a different mouse. You can change to another mouse without having to unplug the Arduino from power. However, if you do run into issues while changing mouse, plug the main cable back into your second computer and press the reset button on the Arduino while the new mouse is plugged in. The next mouse we are going to use is a G502 Hero Logitech mouse. As you can see, this mouse shows up and works perfectly through my MKit Arduino. This concludes the setup video for the MKit with ZenMouse Tier 2 firmware. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via email or through our Discord server.